Welcome to this um, special edition of a discussion that pertains to businesses, SMEs, and uh, how to use digital tools. It's brought to you by Centenary Bank. To be specific, today what we are going to hear in our discussion is uh, how you can use digital tools to improve your business. It's very, very pertinent because most of you were disrupted or even affected, some of you adversely, by COVID-19. And we have two of um, qualified people in the studio tonight to discuss with us this uh, uh, point, this issue of using digital tools in your business. And first uh, on my uh, left is Miss Edith Kababure. She's the Chief Manager Alternative Channels in the Centenary Bank. Uh, Edith, welcome. Thank you, Sam. And uh, joining us from Nairobi is uh, Mr. Kamal Budabati, who is the CEO of Craft Silicon. Craft Silicon is um, a provider of technologies to institutions like banks that help in, uh, they support banks in uh, making sure they can digitalize and you can interface with them in doing your business. So let's start with you, Edith. What are the key digital innovation platforms in the banking industry that if I was an SME, I can tap into so that my business improves, especially looking at uh, the things we are going through now? Thank you, Sam, and a very good evening to all our viewers uh, this evening. Uh, Sam, this is very interesting and uh, to discuss how we can enable SMEs improve their businesses using the digital or technology. And uh, when we are talking about the SMEs, I would like us to bring it down to the level that in, uh, each one of us can understand it. Mm -hmm. Let's, for example, look at a typical Kikubo trader mm -hmm. and uh, see what technologies he needs to be able to drive his business. Absolutely. Yes, this is a, a trader who is full-time engaged in his shop. Okay. And he doesn't even have time to move out to, you know, go to the bank mm. and make deposits or maybe apply for a loan. So definitely, when we talk about digital, he will need, and yet he needs financial services. Mm. So when we talk about digital, we we'll look at solutions that will give him 24 access mm. to his account, to his financial needs. And that is the space that uh, we as financial services, uh, financial service providers have been trying to occupy and provide. Yeah. So we are looking at solutions that will give this SME uh, uh, owner uh, 24 uh, service access to his uh, uh, financial services. With convenience. With convenience, uh. without having to leave his shop and closing and saying, oh, the banks are closing at this time. So we're looking at solutions like mobile banking. Okay. The, we f if this... Um, SME, you know, guy has a mobile app. Mm. He will sit in his shop and all he will do is check what is happening on his account okay. at Centenary Bank, for example. Mm. If people are making deposits, if, if people are taking, are making deposits on, on the account, he'll be able to see the transactions that are dropping in as and when they happen. Are you sure that happens? Of course it happens. Okay. Yes. Have you used our app? I have used apps, <laughs> but I did not know that as the money comes in, yes, I can see it. Yes, okay. and of course make even that sweeter, mm. uh, because we also know that every time you check your balance, you know, uh, there will be a small cost to it, and mm. we are also very cognizant that these guys in Chikubo are very, you know, cost sensitive. Mm. Every profit, you know, every shilling, you know, counts, because the profit margins are very small. Yeah. So... We have gone ahead, a step ahead, and to say, okay, so if a transaction drops on your account, we'll give you even an alert. Hey. Yes, mm. we'll alert you. So you'll get an SMS on your phone. Okay. So the mobile phone technology becomes very handy. You, you'll be notified what is happening on your account. You will see what is happening on your account. We're also aware that you will need some assistance, financial okay. assistance, mm. to run your business, to continue with your business, being healthy, you need capital. Mm. So you don't have time to leave your shop mm. to go and apply for a loan. Use your mobile to apply for a loan. And all you need is get your mobile, log, log into your app, and apply for a loan at Centenary Bank. But it seems, it uh, is, yes, before it, you go on, yes. 
I can't use cabinet for that. I need to use the smartphone. Kwanzaa, tell me, I, I need to upgrade or what? Okay, so of course, uh, we, as, uh, we are very aware that, yes, there will be businesses or there will be business owners that cannot afford a smartphone. Mm. And we've provided for, uh, for, for that. Okay. We've enabled you to do that, even using your cavity. You can use your USSD, okay, a, short, so, uh, a short code. Okay. Yes, 211 hash, that's the code for Centenary Bank. Dial it and it's for free. We'll not even charge you for that. I thought that cavity time <laughs> cut off. Okay, go continue. Yes. <laughs> so dial that, 211 hash. Get into your center mobile or your uh, platform mm. and you're able to apply for a loan. So if you're running off stock and it's 5 o'clock and you need to send money to Unilever, now you, you're not sure whether that will happen yeah. or Bidico mm. and they're not going to give you stock the following day. So you apply for a loan on your mobile and then uh, you have money on your phone. Okay. So now you're saying, okay, so now I have this money. How do I now send it to Unilever? Mm. Unilever is probably not banking with Centenary Bank. Mm -hmm. So how do I send it? We come in again okay. and we provide you with online banking. Okay. Yes, you have online banking. Mm. You can move money across banks. Mm. Unilever works with, uh, sorry, banks with Standard Chartered, with, you know, uh, Stanbic. Yeah. But we ha we've given you our online banking platform. Yeah. All this is happening in your shop. You haven't moved an inch. Phone in my hand. Yes, you have a phone. Mm. You're able to get a loan. You're able to see what is happening. You're, a, you're able to order for stock. Yes. So with that convenience, honestly, you cannot say you, you'll be having difficulties in managing your, your business. You'll be having difficulties in accessing your financial services mm. because you need to be present, but you also need to be connected with your bank. And this is what we are offering. And of course... Again, for the SMEs, take an example of uh, maybe uh, you know, a small hotel and mm. you know, people coming in to access your services and all that. We, we are saying we can also, en we've enabled you, we can allow you to, you to uh, allow people to use the, the card. Okay. Yeah, to be able to make payments, to book for their hotel, to pay for their meals, the restaurants and everything. Mm. So the card, uh, the Visa card or the MasterCard enables you to again, uh, access to, to be able to offer services to the customers without handling cash. And for us, what is important is to make sure that the, the, the people who are in business mm. do not take the risk of handling cash. cash. So we give you With the solution. The yes, exactly. Mm. We give you the solution that will make your cash burden less. So you are still receiving your sales as they are coming through, but the contact with cash is very minimized and you don't have the risk of saying, oh, it's five o'clock, Centenary Bank has closed, mm. where can I go? And even if, yes, you really wanted to go to the bank and it has closed, mm. we have gone ahead to provide even better solutions. There is an agent next door. Yeah. Yes, the agents are available, and most of them even work for longer hours. So even if you had cash, for example, I still you want to use the, the example of Kikubo, where people still use a lot of cash and yeah. you collect the cash, mm. and it's five o'clock and you're like, where do I take this cash? So you walk to the next agent, and the next agent will receive the money, it will be banked, and immediately it is banked, you will be notified. I hear three things here. Yes, yes. My phone. Yes. Uh, the, now the, the agent, yes, and then the card, the card, my, yes, the card, the card, and yes. then my computer and yes. internet banking. Yes, we need to move, Edith. Yes. Um, why does why does COVID nineteen and this impact especially? Yeah. Uh, require that businesses adapt what you're saying. Yes, it is important because if you we all recall when COVID hit, mm. most of the businesses and most of us were very unprepared for it. So it got us un unawares. Yeah, I remember. Yes, it got us unawares and we fell to the heat. Mm. Yes. When businesses were prioritized, when transport was prioritized, yeah. movements were restricted, yet, I mean, life had to continue. Mm. So, of course, it's only those who had, you know, who had prepared better that actually uh, survived. And what did we see out of that? We saw, you know, online payments coming through. Mm. We saw people now adapting to, you know, doing purchases online. You saw the likes of Jumia really coming up big. Mm. And now everyone running to update, to, uh, to download the Jumia app because business had shifted from, you know, being physical to, to online. And we're not going back. I, and we're not going back, definitely. Mm. We are not going back. The future is definitely digital. So... The, 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 it, it was very, I, I, I look at it as a blessing in disguise 
had it had that not happened, I think we would still be stuck in the past of where you think that banking has to be physical. I have to walk to the bank. Uh, if I want to make a purchase, I've actually have to go to the uh, to the shop. But where I sit, I can sit here. I will order whatever I need. I don't have. I don't even know where this shop whether it is. But I, but I, it's. Uh, it, I will do whatever I have to do online. And I think I that's one beauty about COVID that we will forever remember. It fast. It made things. Uh, they, they shift faster. Yes. I totally agree. After that, me, I don't also want. To. In fact, every time I touch cash, I have to now sanitize. So I enjoy using my phone. Yeah. Let's move on to Mr. Kamal. Mr. Kamal, you are there? Yes, I'm around. You are on the technology providing side, even for the banks and others. Tell us some of the challenges that are involved in incorporating technology in business service. What are the realities? Okay, uh, so uh, if you look at it in terms of adopting the technology, the biggest challenge is that SMEs are facing today and it's not a technological challenge, it's a, it's a mindset issue. Because most of these SMEs, they fear adopting technology. They fear, they feel that adopting a technology is going to be expensive. Mm. Uh, also, they feel that uh, if they set up the infrastructure, they, the transactions might be tracked. So it is not more of a technological issue, it is more of a mindset issue. But at the same time, I think when COVID came in, uh, people had no choice but to adopt the technology. So the fear that they always had in terms of adopting the technology, I think they had to uh, put it on the side and do all possible efforts to survive the business. And uh, today, if you look at it... Uh, continue, uh, sorry. sorry. Go on, go on. Yeah, so today, if you look at it, you know, technology is the only way... Uh, that can make a level playing field between a multinational and a small a SME. Mm. Because technology, uh, which at some point used to be an expensive affair, uh, now it is not an expensive affair. As Edith said, uh, you know, when uh, the SMEs are using Senti Mobile uh, and they're dialing the USSD short code, it is like almost free. So with, uh, with that adoption of technology and when the fear is put on the side, and the mindset is changed for an SME, I think the technology would uh, add value to the business that they are uh, doing at the moment. Uh, we want a quick solution, Mr. Kamal. I'm still with you. So if I have a mindset yes. problem, all people in my company have a mindset problem, how do you advise I can go around that challenge? Mindset. You, uh, uh, look, as Edith said, look, uh, as much as COVID has brought a disaster uh, to uh, economy, the good thing that COVID has brought in is to ensure that everyone adopts a technology. Mm. So when the mindset had issues among two people adopting the technology and the two other partners didn't want to adopt the technology, when COVID came in, I think they had no choice but to adopt the technology. And if they would have not adopted the technology, they would have closed down. So actually the mindset was changed uh, by force uh, when COVID came in. Okay, thank you. Uh, we will come back to you in a moment, uh, Mr. Kamal. Let me come back to Edith in the studio. Um, Edith, yeah. um, we see that the banking industry is tending towards digital, as you've mentioned earlier, and yet physical branches are still a phenomenon for some, in fact, for many. How should a customer move to digital, perhaps avoid coming to the bank as much as possible, and where... Where is the balance in terms of I'm going to use my phone, but at some point I need to go to the branch? That's, that's my dilemma if I was, a, I was a, 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 an SME. Where do I strike the balance? Okay, thank you, uh, Sam. I must say that um, this is a journey mm. that uh, we, we have started. But you know that for every journey, even if it's for a thousand miles, it starts with the first step. Mm. So we've taken the first steps and we continue on our journey. One, we have to do a lot of uh, sensitization, mm. yes, to, to make the customers, the businesses appreciate, yes. We have to do a lot of heavy lifting mm. and hand holding because there are different perceptions, especially in our economy. Much as, yes, the, the, the technology is there to enable their businesses, but we also know that they look they approach it with uh, you know 
with mixed feelings. I like I like my I want my cash in my hands. <laughs> exactly. You are me the phone. Yes, mm. yes. I like my cash in my my hands. Mm. I can't be. I can't trust that my money is safe. Uh, you know. So they they have mixed feelings, and what we have to do as financial institutions is to see that we address all those fears. We we sensitize the customers, mm. and then we walk with them the journey. There is a lot of, uh, like I said, hand holding that that is required uh, to do. But also, of course, as we make these investments, yeah. we must be sure we must be cognizant of the fact that they cannot pay off immediately. Yes, so we must be patient. Patience. Yes, mm. we must be patient and not look at the you know a technology that you have deployed today to pay off uh, tomorrow. Mm. We've had some of these technologies here for more, uh, more than a decade, but we, I think we are, we, we are still struggling to see that we, we, we shift the, you know, the, the a sizable number of the customers to them. Mm. So we, we are going to continue uh, sensitizing the customers we, so that we build confidence. Mm. The issue here is about building the confidence because once you're confident that your money is safe, then you stop thinking about you know, the balance, because it becomes the norm. But the consumer. Yes, because <laughs> it's now like you're used to your phone mm. and you can't do even for a minute without it. Mm. But this is a journey. It, it, you know how far it has taken you to even to get to that level. So even as for, 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 for the customers to now stop thinking about the other side of my money is not safe, it's going to be a journey and we can only do that if we are, you know, we are, we are doing a lot of sensitization uh, like this one. Like this one, exactly, mm, like mm, this one. Mm. Speaking to the customers and giving them the confidence and the assurance that digital financial services are very safe and that is the future. Because for sure, digital has come and it's the future and it's not going to go away Before anytime. I go back to Mr. Kamal, yes. you said digital, digital options are safe. Speak about safety for one minute. Yes. It starts with me, I believe. Yes. Speak about safety for a minute. Yes. Definitely, digital solutions are safe. Uh, because anything that speaks to your account, mm. and in most cases, my account is my life, can't just be deployed without any, any security but measures. But I cannot just uh, <laughs> play with my PIN, correct? Exactly. Uh. So your PIN, your, your every, for example, every transaction is going to be guarded by a PIN. A PIN is supposed to be known to you. Me only. Only, yes. Mm. And you know, these days, we even go ahead and say, because we don't trust that this PIN we gave you you kept it in a very safe place. So we even go ahead and say, for every transaction that what you're going to do, we're going to give you a one-time password. OTP. Yes, mm. OTP. Mm. Confirm that this is you. Mm. It is connected to certain information that only speaks to you. It is only going to be released once we confirm that it is you, it is your number, your telephone number, it is yeah. your account number, and we've done the, you know, the due diligence around you, and then we release it. When you release it to you, you confirm that it is you and you accept it. If you're not sure about it, you reject. So that transaction will not happen. I need to go back to Mr. Kamal. Yes. Safety, as we go technology, we keep that in mind as uh, a user, as an SME. Uh, Mr. Kamal, I'm coming to you. Last question. Yes, what please. Are, what are some of the lessons we have learned uh, from elsewhere in Africa about yeah. how micro, small, and medium enterprises are using technology to become more efficient and effective in their operations. Okay, so uh, I, on this one, I would like to possibly bring up two issues. Uh, yeah. Craft Silicon provides solutions into the various African countries as well as a couple of emerging Asian countries. So what we have realized is that when the mobile penetration and internet connections are available in the country, uh, then the uh, uptake of digital services is very fast. Yes. And if you look at countries that, uh, Sam, are you asking me something else? No, 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 just go ahead. I'm just acknowledging. Yeah. So uh, what we have realized is uh, the countries where the technology, uh, where the mobile penetration is good, internet penetration is higher and the bandwidth, uh, the cost is smaller. Uh, the SME uh, technology uptake has always really worked out very well. Uh, so I I'm also thinking possibly government should get into this just the way government is subsidizing possibly and uh, the oil prices and some other prices. I think our government should also subsidize the internet data usage uh, cost because that is something that would really scale up these SMEs and get the push towards uh, making them technological savvy. And once they are on technology, then obviously the growth becomes uh, relatively much easier. 
Okay, thank you, uh, Mr. Kamal. I want to uh, finish with uh, you, Edith. Um, Centenary is one of the biggest banks in um, Uganda's banking industry. Um, right. However, you cannot take on, you know, this mantle alone. What kind of concerted effort would you expect from other players? Because everybody wins at the end of the day. Yes. What would you say? Yes, you're very right. And of course, it's one of um, key considerations as we take on this uh, digital journey. Mm -hmm. Partnerships are very key in, in this whole thing. And uh, this is not something that you can take on because, one, technology is not cheap. Absolutely. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. Yes. Technology is not cheap. And, of course, at the end of the day, you want to also concentrate on your core business. Mm. Yes. And you let the people who, you know, who, 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 who are who better. Do yes, uh, yeah, do it, do it. Mm. So we, we are considering a lot of partnerships in this. Mm. And we've gone ahead to do that. That's why we've uh, patterned with telecoms. Yes, we've patterned with fintechs. Mm. Uh, uh, for example, you know that we are a member of uh, ABC and ABC is an uh, agent banking company. Yes. We are a member of uh, Interswitch. You know, we've gone ahead to partner with the likes of Visa, MasterCard. Mm. So partnerships in this whole, you know, thing are very important because one, um, they, 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 they allow us to concentrate on what we are good at and then they also offer what they are best at. And then we meet, you know, each other halfway mm. to offer a very superb serv uh, service to our customer. That's yes. very important because people don't know there is a signature bank, but there is someone behind and there's a telecom there in the middle of a, a bank and a telecom. There is somebody in the middle. Mr. Kumar, I want to come back. Kamal, I want to come back to you. Your last word as we wind up. Okay. Give us your last word as we wind up. <laughs> Hello. Sorry, Sam. Uh, yeah, you can hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Yes. Uh, give us your last parting shot as we wind up this discussion. See, uh, I think it would be that uh, uh, when SME start adopting the technology, then credit scoring towards the bank becomes much easier. And if they start adopting the technology, then, they, uh, then when they go to a bank to get the lending facility, it would become much easier. So obviously every SME should start adopting the technology and, uh, and start reaping the benefits. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Kamal, and thank you, Edith. Um, SMEs, uh, this is Centenary Bank speaking to you on how to adapt to digital technologies. Before COVID, uh, this was like a joke. Now things have changed for good, and those who are going to adapt or adopt faster are the ones who are going to win. And as you can see, Centenary Bank and other players want you to join them because that is going to be the new way of doing things. And if speaking about efficiency and effectiveness, technology, once it's adopted, uh, makes life easy, saves you money, actually makes you more money. So visit Centenary Bank. If you don't know, visit them and ask them to help you learn how to adapt. As you can see, they are here ready to do, the, to do, to do that. That was our discussion on uh, how to use digital tools to improve your businesses. I am sure we have not discussed everything you have in mind. But please visit Centenary Bank if you have any more questions and you'll be educated. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.